Hello everyone, Jester Bell is here and I apologize if I, if I seem a little tired, it's because I am, but I wanted to do, to do a very quick video on what I think about the new set photos of Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. Now for those of you who follow this channel, you know my name Jester Bell is uh, based off of the fact that I am such a big Harley Quinn fan, but I've complained a lot about how I don't like the treatment of her in recent years. And just a little preamble, I was wondering if this Elseworlds movie of all things could give um, um, me a better version of Harley Quinn. There are some good things with her that I've seen lately, but um, I'm really pulling for this movie here. But today we got a new look at Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn because they're doing some outdoor filming at last. We got a couple scenes of Joaquin Phoenix, uh, you know, running away in the city before, but it really wasn't a lot to really go on. But now we have this new look from her and I want to do a breakdown of it and give my thoughts on it. So uh, you've already seen it if you've clicked on this video. It's this sort of business outfit she's wearing. It's red and black themed with the diamond themed of the Harley Quinn clown. And I, that is what I really like about it. First off, I'm going to start with my positives on it. It's that, um, you know, for years, uh, thanks to the Suicide Squad version, Harley was sort of redefined as wearing an outfit that was never accurate to the character in the first place, going with pink and blue pastel colors and sort of a pop star look, and then moving on to something that wouldn't even follow the two-tone style with the Birds of Bray outfits that were actually absolutely Absolutely terrible but this it goes back to the red and black Harley Quinn motif even though it isn't actually a suit yet and uh, I really like the way that the diamonds look on it I like the way that the red pops out um, from the crowd that she's standing in and I like how it complements her blonde hair I just think that that color scheme of red black and uh, diamond uh, white and blonde really really works and I think it's unfortunate that even the movies and even Margot Robbie's version eventually moved on from that and have all gone all the way back to red and black, but the comics for some reason just will not catch up to it and I don't understand why. So um, some things that I don't really know how I feel about this outfit, it is a business outfit, like it's not a super suit, it's an outfit that she's wearing in this scene specifically, and it's not her main outfit, we should be clear on that. But uh, my first reaction to it is I wondered if it looked a little cheap, but that might, might be the point of it, because for all we know that this version of Harley, which is pretty obviously Harley now, uh, for all we know, she made this herself, similar to how Arthur Fleck had to style his own suit. Like, maybe the point of it is it's cheap. And sometimes there are certain costumes and fabrics that they use in Hollywood that uh, don't look good, maybe with no lighting, but with the right lighting, they look amazing. So um, I have to wait and see for that. The other thing is I'm not sure about the context here. There's things that I like about the context we're seeing because we see that we're at a free Joker protest, and it looks like um, Harley is being taken to testify at a trial. I think that the Joker is on trial here. I don't know if this is as his psychiatrist. I don't know if um, this is as just somebody who's been complacent in his crimes. I don't know if this is as the leader of these protests. I'm not sure. It seems that she's wearing this outfit on purpose, though, so that she can, you know, sort of wear her war paint for the Joker, so to speak, which is very, very much like Harley. That's what she's supposed to be. Um, the performance, I just don't know what to think of the performance, because that is the thing that um, made me sort of um, not be as excited as I would have been when I first saw this, because I thought it looked very much like Lady Gaga herself with you know her hair is wet it's very slicked back it looks very much like Lady Gaga the first picture we got I didn't think looked like her at all because she was given that like wild-eyed expression at the Joker and I said that's Harley but this one I'm not really sure you see her you know do the free Joker thing which is once again very much in the vein of what Harley is supposed to be but when I was looking at this photo and I just saw Lady Gaga I, I didn't know how to feel about it because I like it when actors and actresses completely disappear into these characters but that's all a matter of that I haven't been able to see very much of her yet. And I just need to see the context of this scene. Like, we know that it's a protest to free the Joker. Uh, I saw a poster that said, marry me, Joker, in the crowd. Uh, we see um, Harley give the middle finger to somebody. Uh, we see her, you know, raise her fist and say, free Joker. So it's very much carrying on the plot thread of the first movie where the Joker sort of unwittedly and unintentionally becomes a symbol for the city when that isn't what he intended at all. So I'm curious to see how that plays out. I'm curious to see the relationship dynamic between Joker and Harley in this movie. But then I'm wondering, okay, like how is this outfit going to look in context of the movie? And how is Harley's character going to fit in the movie? Like the one thing I'm afraid of is that this is going, this movie is going to start to become a parody of itself. That'll become, you know, 
too political or that it, it'll the artistic elements will fall apart or that the first movie was maybe just lightning in a bottle and this weren't won't work out but overall I like that we're going back to the Harley Quinn theme for Harley her name is Harley Quinn and I'm looking forward to seeing more of it I'm still definitely interested and hyped for this film um, so when when I see what how people have reacted to this, it, this went viral. This was huge, and it's going to go viral because Lady Gaga is still one of the most recognizable pop stars of our day, and this is a very recognizable character. So of course everyone's going to be talking about it. I've seen generally positive things to see how people react to this. Like most people are even more positive than me, but there's still been some haters out there. Particularly Margot Robbie's stance have been like there will be no other person other than Margot Robbie to portray the character now. As I said in my Margot Robbie is not a good Harley Quinn video, I, I highlighted that her Harley Quinn hasn't even gotten any development across three films. It's always been a director's take on her. Um, it's, it's the only time she actually looked like the character accurately was in The Suicide Squad. Still not a great portrayal of her. Um, and so that's why I'm open to get somebody else to play her. Now, to be fair, Obviously, this is an Elseworld version of the character, and it's not going to be exactly what I want. They're still going to take a lot of liberties, especially with like this political climate that we're seeing in Gotham. These are older versions of Joker and Harley, so it's not going to be exactly what I want. But what I hope for this is that it has good influence, because we've had so many years of Harley just being the quirky character, only focusing on that side of her, making her more like Deadpool, you know, messing up her outfits so she doesn't even have a consistent color scheme, and of course, trying to make it so she's divorced from Joker and everything, even though he is the most important character in Harley's story. So I'm hoping that this movie really has good influence in giving us maybe a more adult version of Harley Quinn, one that's not aimed at the Hot Topic audience, one that can bring Joker and Harley back into the forefront, uh, no matter what their relationship is in the movie, and uh, y you know, one that opens people up to different portrayals of the character and hopefully different sides to her and more depth. But of course, all that depends on what the context of the movie is and if it all turns out. What did you guys think about the Joker 2 movie? I am still very optimistic about it, even though there are some things about these set photos that have me a little apprehensive. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Harvey Dent is apparently going to be this movie, the sign Harvey Dent is a clown prosecuting Joker, presumably. So it's funny that we kind of use the same three Batman characters over and over again, don't we? But I'm still looking forward to seeing how it all shakes out. I think that there's still hope for this uh, Batman stuff going forward, and I'm definitely more intrigued by this movie than ever now, and I hope that uh, this is very successful so that it has good influence. But once again, what did you guys think of these set photos? If you like this video, of course, you can subscribe to my channel, support me on Patreon, and I will have more great videos coming out for you in the coming week, and I will see you guys next time.